Welcome back to Question Mark Live. This is Jim Farrell, business analyst with Question Mark and product owner for Question Mark Live. Today we're going to talk about revision history and versions in Question Mark Live. Right now we're looking at a question set that contains one question. But if we look at the right side of the screen, we'll see that this question has two revisions. When I select this question, I can click on the revision history button to see the changes that were made to this question. We can see that the original version was created on September 10th as an add to Question Mark Live. The next version was modified on September 14th, and it's an edit type. We can also see the comments that the choices were changed, the image was changed, and the feedback was changed. If I want to see a quick preview of these two questions, I can select each of them, and it'll show me the two questions side by side. Remember that it said the feedback changed, so if I want to see a detailed comparison of these two revisions, I have to click on the Compare button here at the top of the screen. When I click on the Compare button, a far more detailed comparison of the two revisions will come up, including who it was modified by, when it was created, and the comments. There are also visual representations of the images that were changed, and on this screen we can see the changes that were made to the feedback. If any changes were made to the presentation of the question, including shuffling, this would also be displayed here at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to scroll back to the top of the screen and return to the revision history to show you one more feature in our versioning. If I decided for some reason that I liked revision 1 better than revision 2, instead of, instead of having to go in and edit the image and change all the choices back, I could click on revision 1 and click rollback. It's going to prompt me to, to add a comment that's required for this rollback, and it will create a new revision. And if I click on revision 3, we'll see it's now the same version as the version 1 that we had originally. This will be a very important feature when we get to our next big release, which will be shared question sets. If you're working in a collaborative environment, you'll be able to make changes to questions, but then also be able to roll back changes someone has made if they're incorrect. Look for those changes coming very soon.